Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to talk about how I screwed up. So I'm printing one of those large uh, spark plugs. Thought this part had a flat surface on the bottom. So sliced it. We had a brim set up on it and I woke up to this mess. Um, as it got to the top, the part peeled off of the build plate, shifted to the side, and that's what created this mess here. So what I'd like to do is show you the one small change that I made in the slicer to get the perfect print the first time. Actually, the second time, if you want to count the first one. But let's go ahead and jump in the slicer. All right, so since I printed this with my Anycubic S1, I'm going to use the next slicer, which as you can see is very similar to Bamboo Studio. Now the process is going to be the exact same for Bamboo Studio as well as Orca Slicer. Now, as you can see at the bottom of this model, it has no bottom. When I sent it to the printer, I was in a rush and didn't even check this. So I was thinking it just needed a small brim and I set it to auto and just ran with it. Since this model is hollowed out, we have an opportunity to use the outer and inner brim option. Plus, I'm also going to change the brim width to 10 here as well. Now, if we slice the model again, you can see we're getting a much bigger surface area coverage on the build plate for this model. Now I get it. This seems very trivial as a fix. There are still many people that are learning many of the different features throughout all the slicers. So if I can help even a handful of people by making a two minute video, then I'm happy. Anyways, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.